Wait, did that record just update without a refresh? Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to a brand new series of Did You Know? In this round, I'll be teaming up with the ServiceNow community to share some tips and tricks from across the platform. Today, we're looking at some major upgrades to the record list component in UI Builder. We've got live updates, infinite scrolling, sharing personalized lists, and an enhanced filtering method in the Condition Builder. To kick things off, I've invited Solani Bot to give us a quick demo. Take it away, Solani. Okay, my list is here. Um, let's click on the presentation list and then for the data, let's do incident and then under, under the data, I see these options for enabling the live list as well as the infinite scrolling. So I'm going to check the box and then check the infinite scrolling as well. It is also mandatory to check if the property is enabled for the live list. So let's go to the system properties and make sure our property is enabled. Okay, it is enabled. So if your property is not enabled and if you check this box, the live list feature won't be available to your list view. Let's save this, go back to our workspace and refresh. I see that the option to turn on the live updates is available and the infinite scrolling is also available. So you do not see the pagination here at the bottom. You can scroll infinitely until the list ends. Now to test out the live updates, I have another window open where I'm logged in as ideal user. For this, let's find out this first incident. And if you have noticed for the ideal users, they have turned on the live updates. So if I go ahead and update the short description as system admin to reset my Outlook password and apply, you will notice that the short description on this incident is also changed and the icon for the live updates, it just went away, but you can see that there were some updates made to this incident. So let me do it again so that we can see the icon. Let's just say my password is not working and apply. There you go. So that way you can identify that there were some changes made to this list. Please note that if the users are choosing to get live updates for the list view, it can have performance issues on your instance so please use this option wisely and decide uh, where you want to give this option to the user. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, drop in the comment. Thank you. Thanks, Solani. That's pretty slick, right? Now let's check out two more features that might not be on your radar just yet. First up, we have shared personalized list views with a link. Your filters, your columns, your sort order all travel with the URL. This is perfect when you need someone to see exactly what it is that you're seeing. And second, we have enhanced filtering in record lists. It's now much closer to the traditional condition builder that we all know and love, but with some pretty solid upgrades. There's better logic grouping, easier field selection, support for related list filters, which I think is huge, and quick filter buttons right under every single column header. All of this makes filtering in record lists feel both familiar and way more powerful at the same time. Well, that's it for this one, but it's not the last that you're going to hear from our community collabs. If you have a favorite feature or a hidden gem that you want to share, let us know. And if you want more quick tips like this, don't forget to subscribe to the ServiceNow Developer Program YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.